Federal judge orders release of Khashoggi records by U.S. government. Here's a summary of the article. Judge orders government to release Khashoggi records A federal judge says the government must prioritize the release of documents requested under the Freedom of Information Act about the killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. August 6, 2019, 8.52 p.m. Eastern Time. A judge in New York ordered federal agencies to produce thousands of pages of documents pertaining to the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, the Saudi journalist and U.S. resident who was slain in his country's consulate in Turkey last year. U.S. District Judge Paul Engelmayer instructed the Departments of State and Defense to produce some 5,000 pages monthly related to the killing of the Washington Post columnist. The judge said that the information about Khashoggi's disappearance and death is of considerable public importance. The original request for the government's documents was made by the Open Society Justice Initiative, the legal arm of the Open Society Foundations. The group filed suit in January seeking the immediate release of all government records related to the killing of Khashoggi, a U.S. resident. Critics of the Trump administration say the U.S. government has not acted forcefully enough against the government of Saudi Arabia, which is widely believed to have had a hand in the journalist's death. This post received a score of 54,679, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Great. Looking forward to pages upon pages of black bars. And Barr giving a press conference saying how the Saudis and Trump are completely innocent. The typo adds to the lore. I'm gonna need Varty to make a video explaining what this means. Turns out the Elden Ring was the Khashoggi report all along. It's like the dark souls of humanitarian failings. Greater than critics of the Trump administration say the U.S. government has not acted forcefully enough against the government of Saudi Arabia, which is widely believed to have had a hand in the journalist's death. You are right, they turn around and sold them nuclear secrets and weapon systems. Trump in 2018. Trump in 2015. Trump criticizes Trump, once again. He didn't really criticize himself though. More like, R. Trump contradicts Trump. Ah, uh, that's the one. I misspoke. No, you got it right. He just didn't think it was perfect fit. Connotation versus denotation. This should get interesting. Jared is so far up Bonesaw's ass he can probably taste the goat meat. Hey every time Kushner and MBS come up I like to remind everyone of when this unannounced trip by Kusher to see his buddy happened. Kusher flew commercial. While an entire U.S. economic delegation flew to Saudi Arabia the same day, on a normal secure government aircraft. It's always been strange. It never leaves my memory. Just read this. Why did Kushner fly commercial separately? Why would he do that? Reasonably, it was late notice and they were admittedly somewhat new to protocol. Realistically, didn't want to have to disclose why. A press team didn't have to accompany him this way, not like they would have told the truth. If he didn't want to disclose why he went he could have just made something up, that's much less suspicious and something he's quite experienced at. True, but this was 2017 and basically decades in Trump crime time. What I'm getting at is, they thought they were being discreet and sneaky, they literally didn't know the entire world was watching them. When you're running the US people are gonna watch you? Huh, never knew that. Till. Federal judge, orders release of Khashoggi records by U.S. government. U.S. government, no. They wouldn't even have to say no. Does executive privilege work to cover up the crime of treason committed by our commander-in-chief? Like selling weapon systems without congressional approval to a country that funded 911 and chopped Khashoggi to bits and pieces. In theory, there is no form of absolution of powers in the U.S. due to checks and balances including the separation of powers. Anything done can be undone. However, in practice it all comes down to enforcement. The executive can choose to invoke EP, however it does not mean it is without review if contested by either of the other two branches. But even if the EP claim was pierced, compliance is anyone's game BC who's going to enforce it. Elections matter. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.